Oh, oh, da. Lame. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, first off, I just gotta say Happy Martin Luther King Day yes. to everyone. Happy birthday! Too. Yes, ladies, ladies, introduce yourselves. It's Yanni Marie. Know yourself. Hey, y'all. China White here. The China White. That's right. And Tony Montana. Okay, so we got a great show in store for everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce our first guest of the evening. Uh, we have uh, the one and only DJ Immortal. DJ Immortal on the line from Outlaw Radio Live. Uh, all the way from uh, our sister station in Canada. How are you, brother? I am doing great. How are you guys doing tonight? What it do? So, pay. Good, good, man. So, we got to know, how's the weather in Canada? In Canada? Uh, snowy, I'll say at least. We got a really bad snowstorm a couple days ago, but, you know, I'm used to it. You know, I'm surviving. It's Canada. I'm used to it. <laughs> I mean, I, I got to know, bro. Like, uh, we are all the way in the Inglewood, in the small city of California. You know, tell us, what is it like, uh, your everyday, day-to-day -day life in Canada? Do you have to feed any cows or, you know, do you have to, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, transport any chickens or anything, you know? I mean, I'm just wondering. <laughs> Honestly, no. Um, it's, I, I, Have you ever been in New York at all? Never. <laughs> okay, no. so pretty much if anyone's listening has ever been to New York, um, even New York State, uh, we actually have the same weather as New York. So if it's snowing in New York, it's snowing where I am. I'm uh, I'm, I'm currently residing uh, 15 minutes from That's the New so York State border, so I'm yeah. not too far. I can look out my kitchen window and see the U.S. What time is it oh. out there right now? Oh, well, hey, we it waited It is about a, uh, almost 11.30 at night. Oh, so y'all not that... Oh, okay. But did you, he, he, Nine, 10, whatever 11. weather is in New York is in Canada. That's oh, so cool. Or oh, whatever weather. He said, he said he's from his kitchen window. He could see us. Like, what's up? Really? Oh, wow. That's, dope. That's really yeah, cool. I can see uh, right across the, I, I live right up right near the waterfront. So if I look across the St. Lawrence River, yeah, I can actually see the lights of the buildings. I can't actually see people or cars, <laughs> but I can see like the buildings and the water towers. It's pretty much, you know, the dream right there. Right. That's such a dope scene. That's what's up. Well, we're waving. You just, I mean, you kind of see, maybe. We waving, though. Are you con Are you from the U.S.? Or are you just stay out there right now? Or, or was, are you American? or? Uh, no, I'm Canadian. Uh, born and raised. Oh, wow, that's up. dope. How, what do you think about the health care? Like, are, do you think it's fair or what? Because I heard y'all got good health care out there. <laughs> it, 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 it's, I've no, had no issues with it, truthfully. I've never had no issues. Um, I've never, you know, I mean, it's free health care. I, I look at it as, you know, our taxes are through the roof because of it. But, you know, it, it helps out in the long run. Definitely. Wait, I'm wait, 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 what you mean your taxes are through the roof, man? I mean, like an extra hundred dollars, you know, like you're not you're not talking about like 500, you know, like uh, no, nobody pays that much, eh, you know? <laughs> not really, no, but we have, uh, I don't know if you guys know Canadian politics, so, but I'm not going to get into it fully, but we got Doug Ford in uh, Parliament, so give it time, we'll probably be up, up, up to about the 500 number. You, you guys call wow. it Parliament? Uh, Parliament, yeah. Is that like a senator or like a congressman or like, a, you know, somebody in the um, House of Representatives? Our president, our president is a prime minister. Orale. Mm. Orale, kind of like the British people. Wow. Uh, yeah. Can we switch yeah. presidents? I don't want him. <laughs> uh, we don't want Trudeau either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to trade, man. He getting on our nerves. Or we're just going to come we over there. Claim him. Yeah, we just going to move out there. I don't there really know if we want Trump, though, either. So I, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't want to speak for my whole country, but we don't want either. Can Who we, does? Wait, y'all don't want Americans? Can we come over? Uh, hey, border's open. Come on hey. over. Hey. That's what's up. We Field is there. Trip. I got Let's my go. passport. I'm ready to go. So, DJ Immortal, uh, tell us a little bit about your radio program called Outlaw Radio Live. Well, Outlaw Radio Live is pretty much my way to give back um, to hip-hop, to the real hip-hop culture. When I say hip-hop, I don't mean today's music. I mean, <laughs> like, um, Biz Markey, Run DMC, mm -hmm. um, you know, those kind of people. Because when I was younger... I, got, I grew up with Foster Homes group homes, got bullied my whole life, mm -hmm. and um, hip-hop was my was my release. When I had my headphones in, you know, these kids would make fun of me, but if you have headphones in, you can hear the lips moving, but you can't hear nothing with the music. Mm -hmm. So hip-hop was my release, and I feel if it wasn't for hip-hop, I don't know where I would be today. I physically feel 
I wouldn't be talking to you guys if you get what I mean. So mm. um, now that I'm older and internet is such a huge, huge way to get in contact with people, it's my way to give back to the legends that helped me through my dark times. Now it's my turn to be like, hey, you're still here. Let's give you a voice. Let's, let's show these individuals that you're still here and you're still making music. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's dope. So who is your favorite artist then? Since you, I know you don't like um, this new, these new artists. Oh, heck no. Um, <laughs> um, I would have to say my favorite artist of all time uh, would have to be, uh, I, I can't just choose one, so I'm going to have to choose three. Um, I would say Tupac, Snoop Dogg, and um, Eazy-E. All right. Yeah, that's a good selection. And that's all from us over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm, oh, I Tupac. love Tupac. Yeah, exactly. He always is like on the favorite rapper list. But we oh, in yeah, different like eras, Tupac. so Tupac is one of mine. I love Nipsey Hussle. That's like my favorite rapper of all time. And I like J. Cole. You don't like J. Cole? He's pretty dope. Not fully, no, but I have to say, I before Nipsey passed, uh, he wasn't really big here on the East Coast, but I did catch a glimpse of a few tracks before he passed away. And I have to say, very talented individual, and, I, and it's a very, very sad loss for not only the West Coast, but the entire music industry. Definitely. Because I feel if he, if he would have, like, still, if that tragic incident wouldn't have happened, that guy would have blew up. I, mm -hmm. I could see that coming. Definitely. But see, I don't count them as part of, like, this generation's, like, hot music. Like, I'm this generation, I mean, all those littles. Yeah. All those, like, Lil, you know, what are, what are their names? Lil... Lil Bop and Lil right, Lil. all those all, all those little people, like J Cole. That looks like a human skittle. Right. <laughs> 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 hey, our generation don't even like him, so you good. Exactly. Well, we don't even accept his ass. He crazy. I don't think anybody likes him. <laughs> and so, and and oh, we gotta know, bro. Um, uh, what are you promoting with us today? Uh, pardon, sorry. What are you promoting with us today? Uh, pretty much job uh, right now. Honestly, what I'm promoting is Outlaw Radio Live actually just became. Uh, sorry, I just got nominated for Best Underground Radio Show of 2019 oh. at the Dub C Awards. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I got to give a shout out to uh, Supreme Ra of uh, Black Law Rebel Music. Uh, he's located in uh, K uh, well, Kentucky area. He's actually the one that nominated me, and they put me on the list. So that's pretty cool. So everybody can vote for Outlaw Radio Live as well if you go to our Facebook page. <laughs> Uh, Outlaw Radio Live uh, on Instagram. It's pretty much everywhere. I try and put the link as many places as humanly possible. Nice. That's tight. Okay, okay. So you just, you were going everywhere, man. We're going to see you syndicated one day, and I'm going to tune in to XM Radio and be like, oh, damn, that's DJ Immortal. Hey, same. Uh, hopefully I get there one day, you know, God willing. Um, I got a lot more improvement I need to do. I have a lot more improvement that I need to do. Um, I'm not the best, and I know I'm not ever going to be the best, but I want to be the Don't best. Don't talk like so that. So I'm going to keep striding. <laughs> you the best. Hopefully one day I'll get there. That's <laughs> right. That's right. you got to keep pushing and keep working hard because mm -hmm. it doesn't come like night and day. i got to know, what message would you want to give your fans right now that are listening all the way from Canada? I would say thank you so much for all the support. Um, one year ago, it's weird. I, I Law Radio started like less than a year ago. And um, I was looking back, thinking about it last night, being like how different my life was a year ago. Now I have famous friends, and it's, it's mind blowing. So mm -hmm. everybody that has supported my supported not only me but my radio show, um, I gotta say thank you to everybody because it the support is is mind blowing. It's actually just even talking about it, it's taking my breath away. Coming from a kid that grew up from nothing, that actually has something to look forward to every single night is just extraordinary so thank you guys for all the support man we look forward to hearing you and real quick what's your social media uh my social media is um my personal is dj underscore immortal 94 um that's my instagram um but my outlaw radio live is outlaw radio live on instagram it's outlaw radio 613 on twitter and it's outlaw radio live with two e's because unfortunately someone took the name, you know what I mean? But it is oh, what it is. No. Slap an extra E onto there. Yeah, that's right. So you're here to hear. Check them out with two E's. Thank you very much for being on the show, brother. We appreciate you. Would uh, I be able to give a couple shout outs quickly if that's okay? Please go ahead. Yes. All right. So first off, I want to give a shout out to my beautiful wife. You know what I mean? Her Aww. support has just been extraordinary. So I have to give a shout out to her. Uh, shout out to Outlaw Radio Lab sponsor, Rob Reborn of Royally Represented Promotional Agency. Um, check him out on Facebook as well. 
Um, shout out to the entire Black Law Rebel Music Squad, um, Mondo, Imperial Real Rel, Supreme Ra, and Doe Fresh the Don. Those guys support me right down the middle, and also Outlaw Radio Live's promoter out in uh, Nova Scotia, Canada, Graham Lloyd. I gotta say, guys, thank you so much for having me on. It was an honor and a privilege. Um, I love your guys' platform. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much, brother. We appreciate you. And once again, uh, stay tuned. We got Shay in the building. Oh, da, le. Give us a call. 310 Now one's your 9676 <laughs> extension 1. <laughs> Los Angeles. Please welcome a legend and a legendary giant. Allow giant. me to reintroduce myself. My name is... Tony Montana. Hey, Tony Montana. Uh, wow. Say hello to my little friend. Timberland production, I know you know just what to do. Go ahead, follow instructions when the guards in the building. Uh-huh. I know my people know the feeling. All right, and if you're ready, can you willing? Okay, throw your hands to the ceiling. All right, go ahead and stack another million. Jumping around like you ain't really caring. Ladies ripping off everything they wearing. I'm on top of the throne, homie. You know I ain't sharing. Now you know, I wanna hear you say it. Yeah. I wanna hear all my people say it. Walk to them when the beat put a spark to them. Let me just talk to them. With your man, go ahead and put them plans off. Ladies. Well, okay, go ahead and ditch your man off. Ladies. Take your pants off and shake it for him. to this show a very beautiful lady who is uh, doing a lot of big things and we understand just got signed to Rock Nation hey. Shay welcome yeah. to the studio uh, thank you so much oh, wow. <laughs> yes I, I gotta know what does it mean for you to be signed to such a huge platform Okay, so I'm actually, I actually just landed a distribution deal with them. Um, they have a distribution company called Rock Nation EQ. And so I'm going to be like one of the first British artists to be like debuting anything from them. So it's, it's a pretty big deal. I'm really excited, like a bit nervous to see like what the future holds, but definitely excited overall. Like. I love your accent. I Thank know, you. I'm just, it's yes. me on, girl. I'm just sitting here like, oh my God. <laughs> I can't stop looking at her. Thank you so much. Jesus. Thank you. 
That's so dope. <laughs> Y'all got to tune in here. So oh Rock gosh. Nation E, what is it? Rock Nation EQ. So what is the difference between the actual label? Um, so basically this is like a distribution, I guess it's like an extension of their label where they can like, it's just like, mm, I'm trying to think of any other distribution companies like Ditto or um, TuneCore. I'm not sure if you've even heard of any of these, but they have their own distribution where it's like they will choose to distribute certain artists' music strictly through like this lane as mm-hmm. opposed to anything else. And so, yeah, I guess that's what, that's what I'm doing with them. I don't know if that's making Is sense. it kind of like the Snoop's Army? Because like how he has his own record label, but he also has this group of people to where they are helping artists like yourself. Yeah, yes, okay, like yes, yes, okay, yes. Cool. Mm-hmm. Have cool. you gotten to work with any artists yet not, that you... Mm, not yet, not not in relation to like the label. I've definitely worked with artists that um, I would say are have been like milestones for me. So I'm not sure if you've heard of Boogie mm-hmm. from Westside. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I was on his album. Um, there's a couple of things in the, pipe, in the pipeline. I can't even really say too much on them right yeah. now. But yeah, yeah, we're working. <laughs> no, no. So, are, okay. So are there any like, are there any artists that you do like want to work with in the future that you're like, oh man, I want to get this chance? <sighs> There's a lot. There's a lot yes. of artists I want to work with. Definitely. Um, Top three, right? Like if if you had, you got to pick anybody. Top three. Yeah. Okay, Beyonce's in there definitely. Of course. Um, <laughs> hmm. Of course, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> um. They have to still be alive, obviously. There's a couple ones that have passed now, so that doesn't really make sense. Um, I would say Brandy. Oh, yes, and yeah. I would also say... I would say Drake, actually. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, that's a powerful one right there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one right there. That'd be dope. Uh, okay, so I, I got to know. Tell us about um, your transition from your home country. Mm-hmm to here mm. and the struggles has been to transition mm. um i would say i'm still breaking in actually i feel like i definitely still have a long way to go in terms of getting myself known in the u.s um i feel like i'm i'm at a good place right now you know but um i think i think it hasn't been so hard because i feel like the U.S. is actually more receptive to vocalists than the U.K. As in, like, saying singers, like, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I feel like in the U.K. there's a specific sound that is pushed forward um, in terms of, like, mainstream music. Mm-hmm. And I've definitely found that Americans, just in general, are more receptive to my sound than the U.K. I'm a U.K. artist, obviously. I've been building myself in the U.K. for a very long time. Um, or about three years. And in like, I don't know, the space of a couple months, I went to like New York a couple months ago. I just, in this short space of time, I just feel like Americans have just been a lot more, they've taken to me a lot quicker. So yeah, man, I think the transition is going to be easier breaking in here than it has been in the UK. So you live here? No, no, I live okay. in the UK still, oh, okay. but I'm just planning on doing a lot more things um, in the US in regards to music, you know, nice. mm-hmm. flying back and forth and stuff is definitely a goal of mine. Nice. Mm-hmm. I like uh, people in the UK. I was recently at the movies watching a movie from out there. Mm-hmm. It was it was gang related, but <laughs> it's so crazy how the US and the UK is almost the same. Mm-hmm. Like we have a, a lot of the similar things, mm-hmm. and we think just because your accent is different from ours or whatever right. that it's different. Mm-hmm. But it's There's really it's really dope. I will really. What part of the UK are you from? Um, so I live in an area called Watford, which is just out of London. But mm-hmm. I would call it London, basically. It's just you know, it's not too far out. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what's up. So do you want to do you plan to move out here, or wh- is it living good, or Ooh. is just? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think I think I would definitely like invest in a property out here uh-huh. you know what i mean but i would definitely like i would still have to go back home sometimes man that's where i've grown you know what i mean that's where i have all my friends and stuff so i don't know i don't know yeah. still understand family and everything mm-hmm, out here, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. so when how long are you going to be out here are you like doing work out here or just vacating or um i'm literally here just for grammy week yeah oh, so okay. <laughs> i guess girl okay, okay. girl just where are you going for grammy week then <laughs> where are you going where the party's at uh, there's a couple there's actually a couple events um reggae yeah. fest hello hey i haven't even heard of that one but yes, yeah um, i will send it to you grab Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out my girl Sophie. She like hooked me up. She invited me out here actually just for Grammy Week. So, um, yeah, just trying to you know go to different events and stuff, see how we can network and just get my name more out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. perfect. But yeah. I'm only here for the week though, so I'm going back on Monday. That's perfect. Next okay. Monday. Mm-hmm. So you just cramming a lot of stuff in a small amount of time. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Basically. Okay. <laughs> well, how can they get a hold of your music? Um, hold of my music. So I'm on like Spotify. I'm on Apple Music. Um, I'm on most of the platforms actually. All you gotta do is type in Shay Universe. So that's S H A E followed by Universe, about normally, and um, I will come up and you'll find my whole catalog of music. I love that. Mm-hmm. Then why don't you go introduce this next song we're about to play? Hey. Okay. So this song is called No Stolen, and it's actually gonna be re-released under Rock Nation EQ on Valentine's Day with a music okay. video. So everybody, please um, keep a lookout yeah. for this one. Yeah. This is called Sh- No Stolen. Let's go. Oh, da, le. I'll be all you need. Hey. What you want, what you need, boy, I bought it. Got some drink, bring the queen if you brought it. Say the word and I'ma come through in the morning. When you call it. What you want, what you need, boy, I bought it Got some drink, bring the green if you're on it Boy, you know I can't pretend that I don't want it When you're calling, ain't no stolen
Oh, da. Yeah. Okay, Shay, now, this is a little something, you know, we like to go ahead and talk about what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And we got to know your opinion, that means opinion. Okay. Okay, Um. Uh, Whitney Houston, and they got inducted into the Rock Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, uh, they were nominated, and this is the first time this year, because, you know, you can't be nominated until, like, 25 years after your first uh, single or album was uh, released. Okay. Mm-hmm. I what, didn't know that. What do you think about that? What do I think about that? I feel like it's deserved. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, Whitney Houston, she's amazing. She is, she is That's amazing. The goat. So, yeah, deserved. That's is what that, I think. Why do you say goat? She's the goat. Do you know what that means? It doesn't sound very complimentary. That's oh, you, I, I the forgot great, you. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh-oh. You gotta update him on the slang. Dang, goat is a good thing. Great, great of all time. Yeah. Oh, abbreviation. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's lucky too much. Damn. Okay, never, okay. my guy. Never. So, okay, what do you think about this Method Man and Mary J. Blige? Are you guys a fan of Power? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been watching no. Power. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Damn, you didn't watch Power. Said, no, no. She mm-hmm. got to get out. Why? I could. I was. I don't know. Why? I'm not really. I'm not really. A, I mean, I'm a Netflix person, but did you even try? See, that's why. Mm-hmm. I didn't do none of them though. Like, what was that other one with that like cookie power? girl? Like, I would. I would see a few of them, but I got it's not my thing. Yeah. Fair enough. You know, yeah. it's not for everyone. Well, you know what? They're going to have a <laughs> spin off, okay, called Power Book 2. And it's going to okay, have. I don't know about that. I mean, it's going <laughs> to have Method Man and Mary J. Blige. Doing what? Why? Are you kidding me? Gonna Mary J. Blige is going to be <laughs> playing, gonna be uh, like you know, to Sabes, you know, a, a, a little role, you know, like, yo, it's going to be off the chain, man. I'm talking about. That's what they say. I, I'm just saying. Right. Like, I mean, I think it's going to be good. If you so, got Mary J. Blige, you got a queen. Okay, so. So who I Method Man supposed is, to be? Ghost? Man, uh, I think right. he's a janitor or something. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. They just right, pissed right. me off with that. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what do you think about this? Guess who got a job offer? You? No. <laughs> what? Uh, Prince Harry. Oh. oh. Yes. Already? Already. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. They're, they're from your side of the town, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Look, how you feel about that? Right. Um, what was the job offer there? Okay, we'll check this out. <laughs> She's like, hold on. Uh, Burger King offered uh, Prince Henry a job, okay? Burger King. Prince yes. You know, and they Burger basically King. said on Twitter, you know, working on a financial independence, so s- stepping up your game royalty. Come on down. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for a job, we have a crown for you. Burger King. Said. Burger King. No. I mm-hmm. love Burger King. Yeah. They were trying to be funny. <laughs> no, I ain't messing with it. They was no? trying to be funny. That's He's all. a king. Is Hello. That is? You know what I'm saying? You trying job, to offer come on, a, a crown on it. Come so, on now. So is this not a job offer? I mean, it's still a job, but <laughs> nah. If I was if I was Prince Harry, I would not take that, sorry. I mean, who knows, man? <laughs> Shit. Burger King yeah, might have. Times might get hard for him out here. I'm it's true. Saying. It's true. They, they said they was cutting ties. Mm. I've seen that. Yeah, so true. Like, but surely like, that, that can't just, you can't just go from like wealthy, right. wealthy, wealthy. Right. To just, well, let me ask you a question. That. Can your name, okay, bring you wealth if you have no wealth? That's like a lot of these uh, famous actors or comedians who, you know, they're they're famous. Everyone knows them. They can't go anywhere without the mob, mm. but they're still living a lifestyle of the humble. Mm. But you can't go nowhere. You're going to be uncomfortable because people going to point you out at every second, True. especially him. True. They so don't can, want pictures. They right, don't but, want to do. So my question is, can you make money? I think you can. I feel like we're in a time, yeah, where like clout and um, status can definitely bring you more like it can bring you more attention and therefore i think gen- help you generate money i think anyway so he's gonna be one of those instagram ca- people who sells <laughs> hey you know what no, give me money no, and i'll no, post no. you <laughs> <laughs> no no not clout, than working not, at burger king not clout isn't like clout chase and i feel like prince harry being prince harry he already has a lot of like status associated with his name right. if you like capitalize off that in the right way i feel like you could definitely make money you could definitely generate money I don't know. He gonna have Burger I'm sure King. He has, like, I'm sure um, he has other hobbies that he likes to do. Like maybe he likes to write. He can go be a journalist or something. He gonna somewhere. have Burger King no, with the, the line around the door, like they was over that Popeyes chicken. Burger sandwich. King is great. <laughs> 
watch. I love Burger King. Oh, well, man. yo, if you guys are a fan of chicken, okay, <laughs> uh, no, chi- we are. Of well, course. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, Chick Fil A says that they're going to give away free eight nuggets to anyone who comes to the counter with a mobile app of Chick Fil A. It's true. Go, go ahead, yeah. I already got mine. <laughs> <laughs> And I already you have points, so I got a uh, free fries too. Oh no! And uh, ice cream. Wow. That's that's a damn. She knows. So I, I know. I she Chick-fil-A. was very happy. She was keeping was up happy, with that. Y'all. Right, like a, a whole kid meal. All happy. Right. A she kept up with the free. whole app. That's better, crazy. Girl, you better get on it. It's it's over on the thirty first. Thirty first. She she knew it was over. I'm sorry. She did. <laughs> chicken nuggets. She like, hold on, give me your yes. photo. I'll go do it. I'll and go do it again. Chick Fil A got some fire chicken nuggets. They period. do. They're pretty good. They're chicken. And if good. those who don't eat chicken, what else do they get? Um, a salad. Ew. A kale salad. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Crunch side. Don't nobody want that. Mm-mm. I do. I, I, I love this kale. Guy. I love this kale guy. too, but not from Chick Fil A. <laughs> I mean, it might, it might be kind of healthy. Might no. be kind of healthy. You know, fr- fry a little it, bit. You yeah. gonna pick free nuggets over a free salad? Mm. Well, anyways, uh, what do you guys think about this? Jennifer Lopez says she wants to live and move overseas. Well, you know what? Did she specify what? As a matter of fact, she did. Okay. Um, she said her bucket list is to live in a small town of in Italy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, she, she, that's she wants to uh, ride a bike, paint, and uh, sit on a rocking chair. And uh, I think smoke a joint, but she didn't say that, but <laughs> I'm just saying. We know she meant that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know she meant She's that. tired of the U.S. <laughs> but look, there goes another star just trying to chill. Yeah, just trying humble. to live a normal life. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm here for it. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you had to leave Britain and the United States, Mm -hmm. where would you like to live? Bali. Bali, Indonesia? Yeah. And I've been there. I've been there too. For real? I have. I I was in the NAVY, baby. That's the biggest (laughs) gang in the world, Uh eh? Watch out. You know, bigger than the Marines, (laughs) eh? Have you been to Bali? No, I haven't. But I've seen seen Who gave him a mic? (laughs) <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Bali is beautiful. Like it's a it's a real cool that. place to go. Like I don't know if it would be ideal living to be honest, but just from what I see of it, it just looks beautiful, peaceful. Oh, it's tight. Yeah. It's tight. The the it's food so is tight. Yeah. The ladies are tight. You know what I mean? The clubs are tight. The clubs are lit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. The beaches are tight. The beaches you know what I'm saying? Fine. Don't get a tattoo because you might get you know a oh, disease. Geez. But you know I'm just saying you don't go out there for tattoos. I'm just saying. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Thanks for heads up. <laughs> yeah. And so um, I, I gotta know what message would you want your fans to get out of today's interview? Out of today's interview, I would want all my fans to um, to believe in themselves and to continue to be themselves unapologetically, because I feel like that's the that's one of the only things, and God obviously, that has gotten me here today. I feel like there's a lot of people that had opinions about what I was doing and how I was doing it, and if I would have let them, you know, get into get into me and change me, I don't think I would be here right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely to um, to be yourself, man, unapologetically, as long as you're being a good person and you're doing your best to be the best that you can be. Um, but yeah. <laughs> And if you had a warning label, what would yours be? A warning label? Yes. A warning label? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> She's so mm. sweet. I don't I know. I, you know I, what I mean? Like, I wouldn't have a one. warning what are you label. talking about? Right. Um, okay. <laughs> a warning label, I think it would be take me seriously. <laughs> mm. That's a good one. Yeah. And we yeah. all want to be. Yeah, man. Yeah. For sure. Take me seriously, man. Or I'm gonna kill your ass. Uh-uh. Yeah. Period. Poo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Her whole well, accent Monday. went. Did you say period? No, that was America, right? right. Hey. <laughs> they can't. They don't say that. <laughs> they don't say that in the UK. That came out straight American right there. <laughs> I love you guys. And, and, and we gotta know what's really? up your Ew. guilty pleasure. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Yeah, something that Look, nobody she, knows about. just like making her dirty. She's like, what? Listen, yes. you're corrupting my purity. Now, Jack and Ivy. Guilty pleasure. Yes. Um. She 
Got to play hard. <laughs> well, let, let me give you an example. My guilty pleasure is nacho cheese. Ooh. Nacho cheese. Yes, I love it on everything. Why are you guilty? Uh, because I love it on broccoli. I love it on chips. I would love it on tacos. I love it on burritos. I love it on nacho French fries. Good. I love it on tostadas. <laughs> I love it just drinking it by itself in gulps. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa. <laughs> hey. You lost me with the last That's one. Why it's Hello. Good. Drinking it. <laughs> it's a guilty Damn. pleasure. Okay. Um, I'm not getting trouble for this one because I think people just eat this on a regular in America but pop tarts that's hey, okay. that is the next time you I've come and bring heard. some pop tarts yes. I can't wait to see your face know, oh. Right? Yes. oh my god okay yeah. but okay but what's your favorite part of the pop tart though because you know there's a whole battle between the frosting and the no frosting part oh um. I'm part of that battle oh. I like the I like the frosting okay yeah, so you like yeah, more I frosting, frosting. mm mm-hmm. I buy the ones without the frosting. And really? as a kid, I used yeah, to like eat the, the frosting. Too, the by frosting's itself. too sweet for me. That's I like the, the red part. That's like if I get the ones with the frosting, I break it in half. Right, I have a whole routine. I break it in half, <laughs> and then I break the halves in half, <laughs> and that way I can bite the part with the frosting first. I'm done. And then I move to the other piece and bite the frosting. And then like after when all the frosting's gone, it really is. <laughs> I eat the crust because that's the best part. So I save it for the last. Wow. And specifically, that is exactly how I eat a pop. You have a whole routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Pop tart routine. I, mean, there I you hate pop tarts. Oh. You hate them. I hate them. Guilty pleasure. I hate them. <laughs> Damn. So okay. I gotta know. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you let our audience know one of your greatest achievements? Greatest achievements. Oh, um, one of my greatest achievements was opening for Eminem. What? Um, what? what? Yes, sir. Um, I opened for Eminem. Um, what month was this? I think it was like August 2018. I think my memory is so bad, but yeah, I opened for him at Twickenham Stadium, which is like this really big stadium. It accommodates 80,000 people, so this is like my biggest audience to date, and it was dope. It was dope. Damn, Eminem. What was that like? You get to meet him, get to talk to him, get to smoke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he like chill? Like, is he he crazy? He Uh he is. (gasps) Oh, shit. he is. The thing is, like, he's he's a lovely person. He's Mm -hmm. He's he's a lovely person. He so is, he's like, one of those. but he's like, like I don't know. I'm very big on energies, and it's like when I look at him, yeah, mm-hmm. he he just seems like he could be very unpredictable. Like you just mm. don't know. You can't read him. Yeah. That's the thing that's a bit crazy about him. He's just a bit. I don't oh, know. Wow. <laughs> I, I love you, that. I mean, if you're listening right I now. That. I love your ass, but you know, yeah, he he yeah, he's just a bit like on edge, yeah. or he, maybe he keeps me on edge because I can't read him. Whereas yeah. like, usually I can read. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep, yeah. I'm, like that, that. I'm that person too. Um, but he was cool though. He was cool. Um, Fifty Cent was there. Um, oh God. Oh, cool. Two chains was there too. Like those. Yeah, we was chilling. It was cool. Oh, Surrounding yourself up. with your fellow peers. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's that, yes. That's now, um. What was a? Uh, you had a question? No. You didn't have a question. I mean, while we're at it, since we were talking about pop parts, I was curious since you're from the UK. Okay. Since you've been here. Yeah. Is there any food chain that you would personally like just just close down because it was just so disgusting? No. No, from the you like our food? Wow. I've mean, all the food I've had thus far has <laughs> been good. It's been really good. Mm-hmm. One place I would reckon recommend is Bossa Nova, yes. Yeah? Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> good, good. Yes. Oh my gosh. So you would take it back to the UK with you? hundred percent. Hundred percent. The food was just <laughs> Yes. That yes. place is expensive, I heard. You ever been to Bossa Nova? No, man. It ain't that expensive. Man, I'm not, I'm not trying to pay like Ooh, yanny got money. Meal, it's not th- it's not it's not too expensive. If you is, if you go with somebody. But the food is worth it, though. I'm sorry. The food is I worth mean, it. Mm-hmm. Roof Chris is more than Bossa Nova. <laughs> Tony's looking at me like that. Yeah, the food is worth it. It's, yeah, it's, it's really worth, worth it. it. It's good. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to be disappointed. But mm-hmm. it's not that expensive, though. People be gassing it. It's not. I mean, I guess. Well, in case anybody wants to take you to Bossa Nova, right. where can they find you at? Yes. Um, where can they find me at? You mean like on social media? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, you meant literally. Hey. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, well, boo. <laughs> um, so you guys can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Shay's Universe. That's S H A E S followed by Universe. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hit me up, y'all. Oh, and I like that song we was playing of yours. That was Thank real dope. You. The beat of it is like really hard. Thank you so much. Did you, it, that sound like a California song. Like was from out here. It had um, had a ha- California. California influence I think the um, producer's called Thomas Crager and he works a lot with like Cali kind of sounds so okay, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. makes sense well we would love to hear 
your voice next time on the air. Definitely, I got you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, coming to the show. And we got to know what message would you want to give your fans that mm. are listening right now? Um, I just want to say that I love you all. Thank you for supporting me and continue to support me. I really appreciate it, man. Orale, you heard it here. <laughs> Stay tuned. We got... Inglewood IV in the house. Tell me you don't know who we got. What? No, I was just waiting for someone to fill in. What, you know what I mean? It's like IV teamwork. Yeah, house. you know, like it's like when I say 310, it's. Uh, 910. Oh. Um, 9676 extension 1. Hey! hey call us. See, you see, we'll get it, we'll get it right. <laughs> we'll get it right, eh? Give us a call. 310 910 9676 extension 1. And make sure you check out Shay. Google her. Google her. Add her on Instagram. Oh, da lay. Hey. Please welcome a legend and the legendary giant. Put giant. me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Hey, Say hello to my little friend. Like flying high priced hookers to your hotel room from New York. Taking it slowly into my hot, wet. Uh, okay, maybe not. But it is cheaper. LendingTree.com is turning the tables on the loan process. Now, rather than going from bank to bank in search of the best deal, you can have over 100 banks and lenders actually competing for your business. You fill out one simple form, then within hours, you'll receive up to four great offers. It's easy, it's free. And let's face it, it's better. LendingTree.com. When banks compete, you win. Equal housing opportunity. For additional information and state license disclosures, please visit our website located at www.LendingTree.com. I know it's been a while. We hard, we hard. Leave talk, I was doing my thing. I know what we're saying, baby. Hey, baby, baby. Fight check. I walk around the street with the black tech now by the waistline, picking out hype shit. I never claim to be the best type of rapper, but you have to show the motherfuckers what I'm after. I'm after the gold, then after that the platinum. Beef after that, Hurricane G packs the gas, son. Chigga bang bang, yo bust the slang with my name. It's the red man on the funk thing. Psych your motherfucking lights tonight, tonight. To do what I wanna do, to do it like dynamite. The one perfected when the funk been ejected. I'm roughing up the rough draft to like make your head split. Huh? Past the 40 and the blunt and don't front on the blunt. Cause when you do front, brother, you get the start. I'm not an addict, more like Puff the Magic. Then pass it when I'm through, cause my crew got to have it. I don't claim to be a big rap star, cause no matter who you are, you still catch a bullet scar. So listen up and take heed to what I'm saying, cause tonight's the night, and me and my niggas ain't playing.
of the new me is really still the real me I swear you gotta feel me before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices, they running out of options Cause I've been going off and they don't know when it's stopping And when you get to top and I see that you've been learning And when I take you shopping, you spend it like you earned it And when you popped off on your ex, he deserved it I thought you were the one from the Yo DJ! I buy you champagne, but you love some Henny Run the block like you Jenny I know you special, girl, cause I know too many Risha, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you, and I need you And I'm down for you always JT, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you, and I need you And I'm down for you always Bitches and we kissing in a way, kissing, kissing in a way, kissing, kissing in a way. Uh. I need that black card in the cold to the safe, cold to the safe, cold, cold to the safe, safe. I show them how the net work. For that net, flip the chill. What's your net, net, net work? Cause I want you, and I need you, and I'm down for you always. And I'm down for you always. And I'm down for you all down, down for you all down, down, down for you always. I'm not your one hit wonder. And when you see me on the streets in a black Jeep, no, I got the heat up under. Not up under the seat, up under my cheek. Like so close to me that when I move, it squeaks. I ain't no big buff dude, I'm a rap singer. I exercise one muscle, that's my strap finger. And I can't call it how I see it no more. Cause these niggas will take your words back and twist them like a press. And these bitches be the same too. Coming with that sob story, crocodile tears, trying to gang you. And that's exactly what the gang do. And if you ever get caught dirty with a nigga, she gon' gang you. So what the hell you on the floor surf for? It's supposed to be by what a ball a nigga cost that hoe. Uh -huh. yeah. You're giving the game a black eye in your S5. Why you niggas kick back popping X, you let that cuss drop. And that bitch supposed to carry her own car note. Come on, yeah, and don't be going for that shit. I got a slack drop. Yeah. Get that bitch a couple of sucrets. Mm -hmm. Or get that hoe that application down on burning to that duplex. When I bubble this trouble, uh. niggas getting big money on the Straight 
you should care at all. Please, please tell me why you always leave. Why you wait? Please tell me why you always leave. to the studio, a Inglewood hometown favorite, the one, the only, mm. Inglewood IV. Hey, now. Yeah. How y'all feeling oh, today, man? Thank y'all for having me, man. Such for a real, pleasure. For real. Hey, brother. What's the deal? So, we, we, we gotta know, man. Uh, uh, I gotta ask you straight off the bat, what was it like being on Rhythm and Flow, getting to interact with Cardi B, Yay. getting to be around T.I., having the knowledge of Chance, Chance the Rapper, like OMG, and plus Snoop Dogg, and you know everyone else, like OMG! Man, it was, honestly, it was phenomenal, man. It was a phenomenal experience. Actually, too surreal. Uh, T.I. is actually one of my idols. So I looked up to him as I was growing up. So actually being in front of him and actually seeing like seeing him physically was fucking crazy. Um, I had a ball. And Cardi B is actually fine as hell in person. She's <laughs> short as shit, though. She's small. Really? She's super small. Hell yeah. T.I. Like too. T.I. Crazy. too. Chance is kind of tall. He's like my height. Like 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, six, yeah, they cool. They hella cool. They super dudes. They super dope. Short. Super down to earth. Like, don't get me wrong. Like... It was off, like, for television and shit, like, but when yeah. the cameras was off, like, they interacted with us, like, you know, they spoke to us, yeah. gave us a little one-on-one time, it was super dope. It was That's super really cool. Thankful for that experience, That's man. really cool. For real, for real. I watched that whole thing in, like, <laughs> two days. But <laughs> <laughs> nice. well, you couldn't have watched it in two days, because like, you know they broke it down. That's, you're right, you're right, but then when, when it was all there... Oh, yeah. I watched you it again. Watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to Thank you. you. So and like you know, that you know fact they got that nominated you're here, for the uh, NWA, uh, NAACP award, right? That's really? dope. Yes, we did. Wow. That's, that's dope. I, right, and you're a part of that. Yes, I was. I feel like that's. I'm like, oh shit. That's really wow. cool. I hope you win. I know. Well, you know, it's over now, but <laughs> I hope we. I do hope we get that award though, for exactly. sure. For sure. Shout right. out to Netflix, man. Shout out to Rhythm and Flow. Jesse Collins going up. That man. Yeah. yeah. I, so. J- Go ahead. Go ahead, don't go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. No, no, please. please Tony please, Montana, this is no, your please, show. No, please, please, Jenny. This is your show, Tony Montana. I know you got questions. Ask I go, do. Please. You know, because I'm over here like fan, fan girl, fanboying and stuff like that. Because, no, for real, because I really watched it. And, like, to me, as, um, I guess I call myself an up-and-coming entertainer somewhere around, you know, the world. But, um, like, watching you and then he interacted with me on Instagram, I was like, wait, did he just... No, 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 no. And I was like, what? That's so cool. And not even just him, honestly, like, Beans Reese asked me. I was on um, live with Beans before. Oh, even Troy. Shout out to I've Beans. been Shout on out live to Troy. With, with Troy before. So, like, it meant so much to me that these people, like, reached out to their mm-hmm. fans. Yeah, most definitely. I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, and then he reached out, and then he posted for his video. <laughs> and he was like, So you still trying to be in my video? And I was like, Holy so thing. what video oh, is shit. that that you're gonna be in? Did it already come out? Or? Nah, it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Uh-huh. So definitely, I'm. Uh, we haven't actually 
push for a release date mm-hmm. um, but I will get the final edits uh, like sometime next week um, it's for a record that I'm actually very very proud about it's called uh, What You Looking For mm-hmm. featuring my boy Marky D and McShader um, that shit is fucking crazy cause Actually, when, you know how like you guys get the stars on Apple Music and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like to let you know what songs is actually the ones. Mm-hmm. It started off as the intro record and another single that I put out called On My Mama, though. And like a few okay. weeks later, after just me pushing it and pushing it, I noticed that star went from my intro to what you're looking for. And I swear to God, that made me so happy. I felt like it was like a milestone. That's like, awesome. Yes, congratulations. I really, I really work for that record. Every little yeah. thing matters. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell it's, yeah. It's hell yeah. Really good. I'm telling you. Have you heard the record? I did. I, Are you I see, lying? No, no, I did. How it go? I, how, how it go? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I, I only know I you because you I, ha- I haven't watched the show. Like, oh, I, no, I'm oh, sorry. I haven't oh. watched the show. But China <laughs> has been like promoting you, like, okay. and she got Shout me interested. Say it again. For Shout out to and China. Music is really China good. Like, okay, <laughs> she's a really a cool fan. You know no, what I'm saying? She ain't no groupie. Her. Like, she. You I, know no, 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 no. I started feeling like it. I was like, bro, I need to stop tagging. But I play his. I play his whole album. Like, I could tell you. By list how it is on my Spotify because that's how much I listen to it. That's it's a tight. good song. It's a good thing to listen to when you're cleaning. I just get distracted and I start twerking <laughs> and shit. I make that. You know what I'm <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. The whole thing, even yeah. underwear starting. Oh my god, I'm like this with underwear you're and what you looking like now. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. growing. I mean, that it's that, that what is you dope. Looking for now what you looking like? That's sorry. What you looking for? <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just joking. But, but no, like when she was like, it was one day where you was like promoting his music a lot. Like you was like pushing it, and I went to his uh, on Apple Music. And I was looking for your stuff. Okay. And I, I don't remember the songs and stuff, but uh, I, I gave you a listen. Okay. And you and you tight. No, for yeah, real, right. I wouldn't lie. I'm like, I'm not, I'm I wouldn't I'm either. I don't even sure. listen to rap music like that, you guys. For real. It really like it's not like what you, you have to, to. It has to be like really, really good. Like that guy that you, that was on underwear. I listen to kind of music like that. Okay. okay. Like FKJ, like, like jazz, and like yeah, yeah, soulful yeah, okay. kind of music. So like for me to play. <laughs> player stuff like even my boyfriend was like dang you you playing his side i was like i know right <laughs> it's weird because i don't even like i said <coughs> music, so it's dope. yeah that's dope that's man good. i sincerely appreciate you as a yeah, fan of course. i sincerely appreciate you as a you know up and coming artist and you know like it, the fellowship is love like I, right. I, I, that's love I, re- I appreciate that shit like for real i'm blushing like oh, <laughs> look, that's how i feel like uh. <laughs> But there is one thing I just we just had to know. What's up? I know you know what I'm about to ask you. It better not be about this London B thing. <gasps> I have to know because I heard that hurt my heart. Well, for one, I was already mad that they put you guys together because I loved the both of you guys. Shout out to London B. Yeah, because yeah, your, your guys' vibes were like, I was like, oh, that's and cute. She was cool. She yeah, was cool she, it was real she dope. Was cool so, but then it, like, I was like, man, I thought you were going to get it. Honestly. Oh, Honestly, I I think Man, I deserved I, I, it. Yeah, I think I deserved it. <laughs> I was fuck like, up or not. like, fuck up or not, I think I deserved it. Like, I, I think I definitely deserved. And it. And honestly, she fucked up too. Yeah, so, yeah. But I mean, and beyond her fucking up, like, let's be honest. Like, yeah, like, my shit hit a little harder than her. Yeah. Had I had I finished my shit. Right. <sighs> Man, I already know. That. I'm already knowing. Oh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's already crazy, knowing. Man. It's like, and it, if you guys go back and watch the show, if you, whenever you watch the show, for sure, because you haven't watched it. Um, look, look at her reaction. The moment I fuck up, watch her reaction. She gets, She's like, like super excited yeah. because she knew, like, Damn. I was digging in her. I was digging in her. And it was funny because, you know, uh, you know, Los, he was kind of like, you know, our mentor for like the whole show and stuff mm-hmm. like that. He's like our rap coach. And uh, he kind of like had my, had my one on one with him. He's like, yo, don't. You got women and children watching this. Don't abuse her. Yeah. Don't don't abuse. Not necessarily don't abuse her, but like don't I completely disrespect her. Right. Mm-hmm. And I that, and this is why I fucked up because I was debating with that and my my real my real feelings. Like right. man, fuck this bitch. This is a fucking battle. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. this bitch, exactly. You feel me? So it's like exactly. damn. I literally. And they also told you that we had 24 hours for this battle, which in real life in in my reality, it was more like 10, 11 hours to rehearse right. and remember this mm-hmm. because we have to. We're shooting this. Yeah. They tell you, yeah, we got you got twenty four hours to, shoot, to do this. When we find out that's what it was at that when they say it, that's when we literally found out what the next challenge was. Mm-hmm. So from that moment, they said we had twenty four hours, but we got to shoot it two, three, four, five times. Got to get individual walk in scenes and this and this and that. Mm-hmm. Got to wait for our trailers and all other kind of shit. Ten, 10 hours didn't pass by now. Right. Now we're going back to the hotel. You want to come back to the hotel, shoot more scenes in the fucking hotel room, little B-roll and shit right. like that, <laughs> taking away from my, my time. I need to focus on what the fuck I need to do. Right. So 
in reality, I had like 10, 12 hours to write my shit, remember my shit, rehearse my shit, and remember my shit, and deliver my shit mm -hmm. in front of fucking T.I., Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, and the fucking Everybody. audience on a beat that I wasn't really even a fucking fan of. So <laughs> with, all that, wow. with all of that, then Los in my ear, like, you know, don't disrespect yeah. her. It's like, yo, now I'm at this point, I'm writing my verse. I'm re re rewriting my shit three, four times. Right. I'm like, fuck, which one should I go with? Which one should I go with? At that point, when I'm on stage battling her, I completely get confused on mm -hmm. which one mm -hmm. I was supposed to do. Right. I to call her a bitch, but right, and because she's like your sister too. She was cool. She was super like, cool yeah, people, like, but it was like I needed to go in annihilate mode, and that's the one I wanted to go Ooh, for. I would have told you, but to I get it. I, I, so I, would you go on another reality show based on music, or are you good? Because it was like too much pressure. Oh hell no! It was never too much pressure. Oh, okay. It was never too much pressure. I would definitely do it again. Um, honestly, I don't. That was. I can't say what another reality show would be like, mm -hmm. but that that this reality show that I had a chance to be a part of was fucking too for real. Mm -hmm. It was too for real. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, this was for Netflix, so it's it's some some things are are fabricated, mm -hmm. but that shit was real. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was real. Like, we really had to come with what we had to come with. Nothing. They didn't give us nothing besides beats. Right. <laughs> That's it. That's so, what part of Inglewood are you from? What you mean what part of Inglewood? Oh, we what shall part? find out after this. Real quick, uh, what's your social media? <laughs> oh, Inglewood IV, two underscores. Follow me right now, baby. At Inglewood IV, two right underscores now, right, right after now. that. Yeah, yeah. Give us a call, 310-910-9676, extension. One. <laughs> That's 310-910-9676, extension. Hey, I love you, baby. One. That's right. We in the house with Inglewood IV. Oh, da le. From Los Angeles. Please, please welcome a legend and a legendary giant. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Tony Montana. Hey, Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Uh. Say hello to my little friend. Tony Montana. Nigga, just stop it. Everybody know I'm a motherfucking monster. I'ma need to see your fucking hands at the concert. I'ma need to see your fucking hands at the concert. Profit, profit, nigga, I got it. Everybody know I'm a motherfucking monster. I'ma need to see your fucking hands at the concert. I'ma need to see your fucking hands. Uh, the best living or dead, hands down, huh? Let's talk more here right now, huh? And my eyes more red than the devil is. And I'm about to take it to another level, bitch. Now who you going to get? Ain't nobody cold as this. Do the rap and attract triple double no assist. And my only focus is staying on some bogus shit. Arguing with my older bitch, acting like I owe a shit. I heard the beat, the same raps that gave the track pain. Bought the chain that always give me back pain. Fucking up my money, so yeah, I had to act same. Shy nigga, but these hoes love my act same. She came up to me and said, this the number two dial. If you want to make it number one, you're number two. Goose in Malibu, I call it Malibu, yeah. Goddamn, easy, I would hit him with a new style. Know that motherfucker, well, what you gon' do now? Whatever I wanna do, gosh, it's cool now. Now I'm gonna do, ah, it's a new now. Then you motherfucker really, really need to cool out. Cause you'll never get on top of this. So mommy, best advice is just to get on top of this. Have you ever had sex with a pharaoh? Uh, put the pussy in. Young 
Nino. Fuck a bitch in the Pico. Carlito, Scarface, Al Pacino, Bumbido, Pimp C, RP Do. I goes deep in that pussy. Dan Marino, she wanna be the one. Fuck her to my own single. Break a bitch heart, no future, Miss Cleo. Snap back, a- a- automatic reload. Flyer than the fucking Beatle, you can't beat them. <laughs> Vampire, fuck up your evening. I pop up and eat lunch, leave you on the cement. Don't believe it? Tripe like a fucking Dita's. The gun Selena, give a nigga Bieber fever. Real fucking hot, put it in pot, take a shot higher than the tube side. Use a bop, give me top top as I load the wop. Man, these niggas say I'm fly, but to her, I'm God. I'm faded, faded, faded. My nigga, 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 I'm faded, faded, faded. And I don't give up. Fuck, fuck is up, nigga stumping in my trucks. Yeah, I make it rain, dear, cause I'm all about my bucks. Use a butt, I'm in the front, dick, dick up in her cunt, and I put it in her hole, hold it one foot, foot. Su- super make nasty. Why you make loving when the bitch call me daddy? Pimp, no caddy. She wish she never had me. Treat her like a dog. Call the bitch lassie. Ha. Young savvy. Banger like Cincinnati. Above average. Fly, fly like I'm Aladdin. They been backwards. Throw Do- the pussy at them. I'm Ben Wallace. Dunk up in your basket. <laughs> Uh-uh, balls in the air. No games, I'm serious, double dare. There's too many bitches, why these niggas wanna stir? Pat run up in here, nigga, this ain't no beer. I'm faded, faded, yeah, faded. My nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. My nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. My nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. Why from Los Angeles? Please welcome a legend and a legendary giant. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... Hey, ladies and we are in the house with the one and only Ingo. What I oh, yeah, we be? back. Hey. We back live, man. So up, as y'all? I was saying, yes, <laughs> she was pressing me at first, man. <laughs> she was pressing me. I, know, like I just want to know, like, like that what's shit. that? Nah, <laughs> uh, nah. But technically, and, and uh, I guess how you would say it in uh, what, what schools did you go to? There you go. I guess yeah. you could go that no, 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 I could say what side I'm from. That's okay. what I'm saying. It's like, you know, I just put it in Inglewood terminology. That's all. Right. I'm from the top side. You already know. You feel <laughs> okay. me? 104 well, Crenshaw. I don't know the difference. Top I'm side? Hun- yeah, 104 cool. Crenshaw. Is yeah. that gang terminology? No, 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 no. 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 That's Inglewood ter- oh, 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 terminology. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So is there Inglewood a bottom side? No. Well, you know what? It, it's, there's a bo- the bottoms. Oh, the bottom bottoms. Side. Okay. <laughs> the bottom. Yeah, everywhere. that does sound weird. Yeah, it's, it's called the bottom. Okay, and then so what about East and West? Like, what they get? What you mean, East like, and West? Like, is it West Inglewood? I mean, the East thing Inglewood. is, but we on the West Side, so anything that's Inglewood is West Side. Oh, okay. But if you're talking about, like, the section of North uh, Inglewood, it's really only the top side and the North okay, Side. Got okay, got you. Okay, so what's, uh, north. what's Lawson and, and Crenshaw? Oh, them the Nipsies. Mm-hmm. Them the oh. Nipsies. Them the Nipsies. I love how he okay. said that. Them the Nipsies. Because that's that's by that's by Til- Bill, Bill's Tacos. Yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah. of Nipsey, he was on the first of episode, course, right? Man, yes. How man. did you meet him? Oh, man. Tell us. Oh, yes. that's see, so did, good. See, you see, no, you see, you saying tell us. You did did I meet him? Did you meet him? You didn't watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, uh, it, it, he actually that, that's a di- watch the show. Okay, so how was it? Phenomenal. I, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Joking, honestly, honestly, um, um, whenever you do watch a show, I don't really, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but I'm gonna spoil it because um, <laughs> I honestly end up rapping in front of Nipsey. My oh, first okay. initial audition was in front of Nipsey. And oh, was, wow. Yeah, um, yeah, at the uh, 1500 or nothing Academy Studio. Yeah. Right. So uh, that was. Honestly, like for real. Honestly, Nipsey's a, is a neighborhood icon, bro. He's yeah. loved all around LA, no matter fucking what. Like, yeah. he, I definitely looked up to Nipsey. No, tons of all. I know albums on albums. Trust me, I'm yeah. definitely a Nipsey right. fan. Did he drop a gem or like say something special to you? Um, Ooh, good question. You know what? Not necessarily like drop a gem, but the, just the affirmation, the confirmation that he gave me when you know we did converse on after I did my audition, like mm-hmm. how he told me I know how to stay in the pocket, you know I know how to articulate myself like that. Trust me, they edited a lot. He said a lot to me, but mm-hmm. the thing that he did say to me it was like, damn, I got that from Nip, and it was like the thing is when a lot of things that another people don't know is that it was me and another girl who was actually uh, who rapped in front of Nip and. She didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Shout out mm-hmm. to her, though, because she's super dope. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, like, 
the the feedback that they was giving was like genuine like it was super genuine like you could tell it was authentic mm -hmm. so um Given it, give, given that I got that feedback from him at the time, it was like it was received well. But mm -hmm. once you know we heard about his past, and it was like, damn, mm -hmm. fuck, mm -hmm. this uh. legend, this I icon, this iconic being, mm -hmm. gave and you got me to the meet okay. him though. Like, right. uh, like that's, yeah, so that's really that was cool. humbling. It was a silly humbling. Yeah, man, that's I can't even I'm imagine. Jealous. Oh my god, y'all know me, and he's so fine. <laughs> Oh right, goodness! So I, I have to say damn song. Yes, I have. I have listened to his song. I have. What song? Um, I don't discriminate, Look, I'm baby. She's trying to what song she know by Nipsey. I mean, I don't like no, but I know Double oh. Up. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay, good. Double Up. Yeah, I know. I like. I've listened to them clearly. People. I'm from Long Beach. We're not that far away. Yeah, everybody. But you said you didn't listen to rap. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's different. That's what I'm saying, though. Nipsey, like Nipsey, J. Cole, um, Kendrick Lamar, they're, that, they're different from the that Lil's. That pretty cool. That, yeah. that lineup out. was pretty cool. Thank you. See, yeah. that's, that's what I would listen to. That lineup was the, But those, like, Lil's and, like, 6 9 and all those weird name people that are coming up, yeah. nah, I couldn't tell you anything about not one All the Lil's and the Dolls. <laughs> What yeah. is it? Um, I, I don't know. In the dolls. Oh, yeah. He said the dolls. You know <laughs> yeah. what the dolls is? I don't. I ain't even cash, no, well, yeah. Not necessarily hey. cash doll, because I fuck with cash doll. Yeah, dog. don't say oh, her. She I the only doll. She the, nah. she the only pass, honestly. For yeah. real, I'm a real, stallion, real. so the I'm Cuban. team stallion for show, for show. She legit, too. Period. She legit, too. She, yeah. she, she legit, I fuck with Any other women, I don't know. I couldn't tell you about them. I couldn't. I'm very minimal. Somebody told me to ask you, um, because... Somebody somebody yeah a can't friend. tell you oh, who uh, i did have some people somebody. that they replied said, to my how do you too. feel about d smoke winning the mm. the um i feel situation. like i won man bring it on for the city <laughs> okay for the right well, there ain't no questions about okay. that what you mean that's it i'm just talking hey sure. it wasn't my question no 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 it's all good no no that he no. cool put your guard cool? down pack it up <laughs> 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 but no th that's what's up though no, like yeah, no, he won yeah. for the city so hell yeah he won yeah. For, and honestly i'm gonna like, really have to go watch it because I, I feel left out when you watch it you honestly see it was well deserved yeah it was well deserved i mean from what i seen it was pretty dope bro hell yeah you know what oh, i mean yeah. like uh 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 the first uh, i went straight for the first and went to the cypher i'm sorry i cheated the yeah. cypher was dope too. I had fun doing the cypher. Oh, yeah, that was man, cypher. bro. That was dope. The cypher was fun like a motherfucker. Like, that was the first time, like, we really actually walked on, like, the set set. Like, damn. Mm -hmm. This is how y'all doing shit? Like, ooh. <laughs> all right, for sure. This is real. Let's get it in. Yeah. Like, and it, like, just being there, like, being on that set, like, looking at that setting, all these cameras and the whole setup was like, oh, bring your shit. Yeah. Bring your shit. This is live. And another thing that a lot of people who were on the show probably didn't understand was how many people Netflix reached like man fuck, like yo mm -hmm. I knew it was gonna be like dope like yeah people were gonna watch it on Netflix but yo people from Brazil wow. Istanbul everywhere yeah. all across the globe Canada like I can't even tell you bro. so many places so many motherfucking places just they tap in and show love and Honestly, some people are still tapping in now, like watching it for the first time, like right. today. Yep. Like today, I'm still. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. Today, like yo, just <laughs> I'm watched be one too. Rhythm. I've already started. <laughs> I'm disappointed in it. that though. No, but I've seen a few episodes. I just I don't be watching TV. Like I'm not. What you be doing? You how many jobs you got? I, I got one job, but yeah. I just don't like to watch TV. What do you do in your spare time? Then? You, That's you, why you I watch Power. You, social media? Uh, oh. you watch Power? Do you watch Power? How fucking you uh -oh. watch Power? Did y'all watch that in the new episode? Yes, of no. course. No, I'm trying to find out who hey. shot Ghost. Hey, oh man, I'm, I'm, check I'm it the out, only man. person that don't watch Power. Fuck off, not telling me. Oh, you should. You watch Power too? No, I don't. I don't watch Power. Get these out. So okay, so what do you think about the spinoff? The spinoff. Yeah. I mean, you straight are gonna have legends, legends, bro. Like mm -hmm. Method Man, Mary J. Blige. No, you know what I'm saying? What? Power Book Two, dog. It's gonna be Power boring. Book Two. That's how I feel. Have they, has either one of you guys seen Bad Boys Three yet? No, but I heard right. it was. Can house? you not? What? You know house. what? I talked to your wife what? about this. Can we not? That's number one. You seen it? No, but I saw her her post and I was like, please don't tell yeah. me that. She Super was like, trash. don't know. No, nah, I heard you guys. I don't want to say don't so. go watch mm -mm. it. Please go watch it and mm -mm. form your own opinion. But 
I'm really disappointed in that one, man. Really? Like, real, real, man. It's not like it's nothing like Bad Boys One or Two, man. Like, well, what? you know what? Bad Boys Two wasn't that good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? No, I, I didn't what? like it. Yeah. Bad, Bad Boys, Boys Two was hard as, as well. y'all nah, know. I like one. Two Will like, Smith. Uh, <laughs> Bad Boys is Two, fine. Bad Boys One, and Bad Boys so Two were equally great. Both of them. They were equally great, bro. The writing, he died. The, the I heard comedy, he died. everything. I that was. In number three, he dies. Who don't died? tell me. Don't tell me. Why are you lying? Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> Because Will Smith... Uh, I just want y'all to shut up about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Y'all about to say. <laughs> I was about to say. No, but um, I, I did have some people comment on my post when okay, I was, like, up? asking them anything. Sure. Someone said, just wanted to say, I thought your content was good. Keep being you. Oh, that's loud. That, that was really? Six Figure Senior. Shout six out. Six Figure Senior. <laughs> what what motherfucking <laughs> <Watch out. laughs> And I'll then from... Oh my goodness! <laughs> her, uh, her Instagram is sexygirl seven 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 nine. It says, <laughs> "Big Mama says, damn, you're handsome, man. Are you single? <laughs> LOL. Just kidding, but you are very handsome. Okay. Aww, <laughs> this record, is real weird. No. Right? No, <laughs> married man over there. <laughs> no, shout out Brit. Super goals. They're super goals. And she made my eyebrows pop in. Hey. She do eyebrows? Yeah, she does. She does yes, hair. She does. She does What's her right, Instagram? Right, she did my hair too. Uh, Brittany Jess Brittany is her actual Instagram, but you guys can follow her for all your beautification needs at Baliage Brit or actually Get Rich or Die Trying. There I'm going to get that from you when it's over. Wifey. Get Rich or Die yeah. Trying. Dude, their whole family is just so But dope. die is spelled D-Y-E, all right? It's all like one word, that. but it's get rich or D-Y-E, trying. Trying. Oh, right? gotcha. Like dye your hair? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. dope. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Shout out to her, man. Right. You feel me? Man, I know. Sound like he gonna propose. Goals. Yeah. Goals. You can said you, propose. Can you just? Married. They're already married. Oh. Whoa. That's her. That's her. You don't watch the show. You don't watch the show. I didn't know. I thought oh, when you right. said and wife, you gotta watch the show. People exactly. be saying wife, and they don't even be married. Okay. I feel it. No, I feel it. But that's, that's a good oh, one. Oh, that's a nice ring too. Can we? You can we? I just. You guys are so cute. You guys are goals. Can you guys just a little background? Oh man. How how long have you guys been together? When when was? Me and Brittany have been together since 2006. Woo! That's a long time. A very long time. Yeah, 2006. They've seen life. That was my junior year, her sophomore year. Oh, high school sweethearts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my baby. Oh. I proposed to her in high school. She said, yeah. She ended up getting mad at me like a few months later. And she took her ring off and threw it and lost <laughs> the ring. And. We was unengaged after that. Oh, <laughs> dang. Wow. We unengaged after that. And then, you know, life happened. You know, mm -hmm. She went off there. Her shit, I did my shit. And, you know, when there's real love, it always finds itself, you know? Right. So, came That's back. It damn right. And now it's a whole family. Now we got fucking two kids together. Two little so boys. So cute. Two fucking dinosaurs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like, you know, being a, a father now mm -hmm. of two, what? not just one? Oh, oh. Honestly, of two, shit. The same. <laughs> <laughs> the same honestly it's like it's dope having like how like, old are they my my oldest is nine so it's like she's kind of like at like this age where it's like ooh, daddy phone mm -hmm. i'm hi daddy mm -hmm. good to see you but can you buy me this dad like, <laughs> when, when, like i see like these kids when i nowadays. see my six month year old like it's like oh my god <laughs> Daddy's home, like oh <laughs> yeah, yes, playtime. Let's just <laughs> have it. Like she probably be like, Dad, I'm done. <laughs> I be wearing her little ass I'm out. Sure. Oh, God, man. I love my kids, man. She's adorable. Chiming on that. Riley and Braxton, chicken. so cute. Riley and Braxton. Oh. Briley and Braxton. Uh, nice. Riley. 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 Oh, that's different. And Braxton. Thank you. That's, that's what's up. up. I ain't got my no God. kids. No. <laughs> nope. Do you want kids? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. It got to be with the right person. Though. I feel that. You got damn that's, right. That's why I'm just chilling. Right. That's and true. why I have the opportunity, you know. Women like, and men are crazy nowadays. Yeah. It's Women harder. It's harder now. It. It's I harder now to pick, you know. Because right. I see so it. many people having drama within their relationship. Not to, you know, I don't know what's going on. But it looks just too, I don't know. I can tell you this. I, I My personal, my personal opinion, I feel like it has a significant thing to do with social fucking media yeah and i don't want to say that it's, it's making me sad that it's, it's that it's sincerely it's like do my media. man not gotta have a be under the radar shit i mean it's like the thing is it's like social media really 
manipulates the mind of mm-hmm. so many people just by yep. what the fuck they see mm-hmm. and absorb on a daily basis. It's like, think about it. I'm pretty sure each and every one, everybody in this room has done it. You may not admit it, but I'm pretty sure everybody has done it. You've woken up before you've brushed your teeth, taken a shit before you've been thanking God for your breath. You rolled over, picked up your phone, and looked at fucking Instagram. Mm-hmm. I have. Mm-hmm. Probably did it this morning. No, not, not this, this morning. morning. I really, I I've been, been trying to train it. myself lately, though. Like, I wish but I mean, that's just real shit. Yeah, but I, we all done shit. it. Like, yeah, for like sure. Like social media is, has that that literal well, effect. You on know, people. social media is a, a business now. Yeah, it's a, it's a platform. Yeah, it's a job. It's a fucking they got it's people making memes. That's a job. That's a mm-hmm. job to make memes. Yep. That's crazy. It's fucking crazy. And just to keep keep your. But I mean, I, I, I guess that's a good thing because it's like it provides more jobs and allows that's true. people to make yeah, to make money. Like yeah, you, so it's like good and It really and bad. does not recall. It doesn't like you know. It doesn't require real brain power to make a fucking meme. Yeah, a fucking it really joke. Don't. So it's like it makes more jobs Dumb accessible for people who don't have degrees or X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? Right. It, it, it's a good thing, but then again, it's like. What you gonna pray fuck? for our generation? Right. What the Praying fuck? For y'all. Well, and, and hopefully, Yanni Marie finds a baby daddy. Hey. <laughs> with no social media. With, with no, no social, social media. media. <laughs> Good luck on that one, right? <laughs> He'll have to be a senior citizen. And on that note, <laughs> when we come back, we will have the one and only Ingle with IV, and we're gonna ask him a little bit about hot topics, you know, and uh, hot you know, and we have a little bit of one hot or topics. the other, yes. you know what I'm saying? Uh, like so stay tuned. Give us a call three one zero nine one zero nine. Six seven six extension one. Tap in, tap in right now. That's three one zero. Oh. <laughs> right now, nine one zero nine six seven six extension uno. Orale, yeah, yeah. With my third eye, converse with a body, let me learn science. Bad girl with a church vibe, all she wanna know is what that turf like. Lately, I've been thinking with my third eye, made a situation off the curbside. Ambitions of a good life, but all she wanna know is what that hood like. All, all she wanna know is what that hood do. All, all she wanna know is what that hood like. World business. I be know that I be with the shit is. She really wanna come fuck with this player. Cause that other nigga been fucking her day up. No, she wanna bust it down. She tryna link up when she texts me. Cause I get that pussy wetter than a jet ski. Oh, slide up in it like I'm Gretzky. Hit it from the side, call me lucky lefty. Touchdown, two points, let me run that. Rush now, turn over, baby, throw it back. No flag, big sack, like your quarterback. No flag, big sack, like your quarterback. Conversing with a body, let me learn science. Bad girl with a church vibe. All she wanna know is what that turf like. Lately, I've been thinking with my third eye. Made a situation off the curbside. Ambitions of a good life. But all she wanna know is what that hood like. All, all she wanna know is what that hood do. All, all she wanna know is what that hood like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you swerve through work, you beat it down who you turn to. Earth on fire, sign, let me serve you. Curve side of feel, nigga, about that hurt through. After I fall in, I'm back in it for seconds. I slide out them leggings and I slide off like a Jesse. Cause babe, you know that set calling. Set calling, it's the vacuum I have a bag when I'm shopping. Took her through the motion, she can't fight it. Like gonna beat you down, I pick you up and be your nightcap. Cause when I woo, you was on one of my location. Long ways and close this space, then I co-case. Lately, I've been thinking with my third eye. Conversing with a body, let me learn science. Bad girl with a church vibe. All she wanna know is what that turf like. Lately, I've been thinking with my third eye. Made a situation off the curbside. Ambitions of a good life, but all she wanna know is what that hood like. All, all she wanna know is what that hood do. All, all she wanna know is what that hood like.
catch that little Oh, da. Lay. Yes, yes, yes. We are in the Say building. Ghetto. Shout the, out, hey. Marky D. You'll see you the right. Marky D. Right. Marky D. I'm Marky sorry. D. Look yes, at this. shout out to Marky D. We have D. in the building the one only Inglewood IV. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, bro. I, I got to know, man. Uh, what you think about this? Let's say uh, 50 cents checks his girlfriend for posting sexy videos. <laughs> oh, like, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like 50 cents, you know, his girlfriend was in Cuba. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and I guess she posted something on the gram and he didn't hold back his tongue. He was like, I just landed. And now why you got to be doing some shit like this? You send this shit to my phone, not to fucking Instagram. Uh. And depending on how provocative it was, like I may be in agreement with it or I may be in disagreement with it. The thing is, I never seen a video, but I know <coughs> that type of shit don't fly well with me. <laughs> I tell you, that, that, that type out. of shit don't fly. But then again, it's like, you got to let these women be themselves, bro. You got to let them But we was just them. talking about social media. Remember? Yeah. yeah. But, but I, again, I feel like that's a fucked up thing. But it's like, you taking a picture of yourself, even if you wasn't posting it on social media. What if you want to post that picture in your house somewhere? What if you just literally, literally feel like, I look People good. do post naked pictures I look of good in this picture. This right. picture is I look bomb as fuck. Exactly. Matter of fact, see frame this motherfucker. What if her ass titties out? But that's what I'm saying. I definitely Didn't like to see the, see the video, video yeah. Yeah. to see like how I really feel. Right. Like, you got the picture? Who got yeah, the picture? Yeah, that's true. Anybody got it? Who got it? Pull it hey, that's pull true it up, because right? Andy, um, I Andy will have to say my boyfriend was a little bit upset with the video. In his videos, he was like, really? Like He was like, he was looking at, like he wasn't like super upset, but he kind of was like, we had fun. Yeah, he kind of was just like, it was fun. We just Every guy amazing. is different, though. No, yeah, he, he totally knows, I mean, but he kind of still is like, dang, you look really good. It's different. Yeah, no, yeah like, so he's like, dang. Shout out to your boyfriend for having you. You feel right. like, like, he should be happy. Like, if he damn. ain't insecure, another, then he's like, okay. Nah, he is. Another, he loves <laughs> another guy thought that my girl was beautiful enough to be stored, I mean, to be featured in his video. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking, <coughs> I didn't ask you to do anything, like, too provocative. Right. Like, what? Right. No, I ask him to do anything. I was, nothing. No, no, no. They fuck, said no. I was oh. very respectful to the women, bro. No, no yeah. shaking of no, the gluteus like, maximus. Oh yes, no, definitely, yes, definitely that. But, but that's, that's not. That wasn't for my pleasure. That's for viewing pleasure. Oh. You know what I mean? Like that, that's for the viewers. I mean, I, I I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, it was you know super I mean? fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was super fun. Like, but but on social media, you know what I mean? When it comes down to that, I mean, it tests one's insecurities, for I one. Know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whether or not you want to deal with Just someone who's secure or not. Right. And whether or not you want to deal with the woman who's going to be shaking her nalgas because she <laughs> likes the, not the gluteus maximus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, for the attention of the clout or attention for social media, trying to get, you know, just, mm -hmm. just feel good about herself. But at the same time, you have individuals who are like, hey, you know what? Uh, you hook up or hey you know what your ass looks good or hey you know what i just jerked off to you just the other day thank you very much for that one you know what i'm saying you do got like, like that yeah, i'm just saying much so you do got it's like that. real oh so God. um nah i don't know man it's, that's that's debatable man it's debatable you got it's so many per, uh, perspectives you can look at that from you know what i mean well, well let me ask you this uh michigan man discovers a uh in a couch right that he paid 35 dollars for 43 thousand dollars in the couch That's okay real? this guy returns the couch <coughs> and says you know what? i bought the couch i didn't get the money I mean, like. <laughs> wait, hold on. Start wait, over. yeah, you what? got. Wait, say that again. A Michigan man discovers in the couch that he purchased in one of those thrift stores. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For thirty five dollars. Now he found forty three thousand dollars. Inside right? the couch. Inside, Inside the couch. The right. Couch. Okay. This guy says, you know what? No, no, no. I bought the couch. I didn't buy it for the money. So he returns the money. Right. Oh my oh, god. Ba back to the owner. Right. And of course the owner was so grateful. And da 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 da. da. I got. I ask you guys a question would you guys have returned the money no why wasn't no. nobody looking for that i wouldn't have i'm sorry the thing I is my this is my thing go ahead it depends no it doesn't fucking depend what if it belongs <laughs> to a drug dealer listen <laughs> <laughs> the owner is more than likely the person who sold me the fucking couch right True. so if you don't know that you have this much money sitting in this fucking couch and you're willing to sell it to me for thirty five dollars, then you right, fucking lose. That's you. Exactly. I bought. I bought a. Yep. 
How much money did he win? That's like buying a lottery ticket. Forty-three thousand dollars. Yeah. It's like buying a lottery ticket. Like, whatever it's Basically. on that ticket, that's mine. Well, he's in Michigan. I mean, what is that? Or like when you go to a car auction there. and you buy a car. They don't turn the money in. that car is yours. <laughs> Fuck that. Michigan nah. people are good Fuck people. Fuck that. <laughs> I would have turned it in. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah you know why for me? Because mm-hmm. I, 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 I would have like, turned in half. You have to buy a couch for thirty five. <laughs> okay, if I, I have to way. buy a couch for thirty five dollars, <laughs> but all right, not the whole thing. I I'm mean, gonna turn in the couch it, and I'm gonna go buy a a, a, a nice yeah. couch. It's somebody's like it's life, you you don't know. Maybe don't believe in banks. And you also don't. You know don't if, know that was that could have been a blessing. Exactly, and you, exactly. that could have been a blessing. Exactly. To There's you. people right. out there who leave money around. like that could have been a blessing. And then you like you like you like nah. You know what? I want a different blessing. Right, but how selfish if it was, it was, if it was a blessing, you would give it right back to me. Like, oh, here you go. This was yours. No, it was already given to you. No. you it's no, it's what, no what, listen to what you just back. said. Exactly. Now, think about this. Now, if you were to offer anybody in the street right now $43,000, you think they're going to say no? No, they'll take okay, it. Exactly. Right, so, right, right. the fact that this man took back money that he wasn't even sure belonged to this man makes him a fucking retard. Exactly. <laughs> you didn't even know it was his. You don't like, know whose it was. They could have forgot. Exactly. <laughs> that, he could have bought Somebody could have gave it to him from a thrift shop and forgot that was there. He was like, yeah, I'm just going to sell it. Right. Yeah. Now, you didn't bring this motherfucker back $40,000. He like, ha, you gotta, ha, ha. You got to get home. So, tell this motherfucker. So, <laughs> so, with that money... <laughs> Speaking of with that money, what what would you have done with that money? Would you have spent it? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start on the the uh. What is it called? The oh. What would what, you rather? Yeah. What oh, would you okay. Rather? Okay. Go ahead, please. All right. So Here with go, that money, that. what would you rather spend most of it on Nikes or most of it on Jordans? Cause I saw your new Jays you got too. <sighs> yup. Oh, stinger. Look, that. everybody looked at the floor like ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my side. My side. My side. Right. I know her. Yes. I That's probably, good. honestly, I just do Nike. It's a lot more longevity in Nike. Mm-hmm. It's a lot That's more true. longevity in Nike. It's like Jordans stop at a certain number where they actually become tight. Yeah. You know I don't what think I mean? They're, they're and even between them, really certain numbers, it's like some, you're like, ah, I yeah, can pass on them. Right. But then there's Nikes tons like, of Nikes that you're like, true. fuck. Different like, kinds. To too. this day, yeah. I would take a white Air Force One right. over any pair of Jordans. No, so real. I definitely true. go with Nike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. So then we're going to do Tony Montana's favorite one, Ooh. Pornhub or National Geographic? That is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's why it's his favorite. Fuck. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't like National Geographic is a fucking dork. Exactly. Girl. I can't fuck with right. you. Exactly. But, damn. <laughs> right. That's a damn shame. Is it that hard? Hell fucking yes. It is yep. really not. It is. Come that on. one is... That you know what? I agree. You know what? Honestly, on. honestly, honestly, I, I'm wrong for even taking that long to think. <laughs> you are. National Geographic. <laughs> you are Wins dead hands wrong. down. <laughs> That's right. Dead. That's nasty. Right. All right, all right. I love so, you, what baby. so what about this? I love you, baby. You, you from? <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> you from Inglewood? So Compton or Long Beach? Oh man! I, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Both far oh. as hell, shit. <laughs> Fuck. No, Long Beach is kind of closer to England. It's just like, man, like, honestly, there's a lot really of got, legends from really, both. Yeah, it's a lot of legends. Like, when you talk about, when we talk about music, but it's like, as far as like my personal life, I just, <laughs> I fuck with a lot more people from Compton, bro. Uh-huh. So I, you okay, know, okay, I fuck with answer. Compton. You well, now we bringing you to Long Beach. Okay, okay, Long Beach in the house. Yeah. Shout out to Long Beach, though, hey. man. Shout out, you know, Uncle Snoop and everybody. You know, yep. the whole East Side LBC. Mm-hmm. You already know what's going on. Exactly. Shout out yep. to all of them, <laughs> Uncle Nate. You already know. Right. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, can, yeah. can I ask one more? Go ahead. No, I'll right. ask a few more. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> he ready. Okay, but I'll top it off with this one. With being a fan of your album, Ivy League, mm-hmm. it is out now, y'all. Yes, it is. Please go tap in the with that The last everywhere. one that I everyone like that needs title to know. Too. Thank That's you. Ass or titties, man? Titties. Titties? Titties. Titties. You did uh, say titties uh, on the titties. song. Uh, I love That's titties. That's true. That's one of his titties. songs. On his album, guys. It's a skit. Titties are nice. It's a skit. Yes. It's a skit. It's almost skit. With Pookie F and Rule, yeah. Tell you me like anything. You know, my anything. boyfriend knew who that hey. was. That yeah, shout out to Pookie. That's my boy. That I do. This nigga my like guy. I know. <laughs> That's his favorite. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah, it's a good one. No, yeah, I definitely. I liked it. Yeah, that whole skit. You like fake titties? 
I, honestly, it's like I love all kind of titties. It's Amen. like, <laughs> I mean, I prefer natural titties. You like big, sloppy ones? I like all. Yeah. What did I just say? And speaking of sloppy, hey. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, uh, my social media is The Tony Montana Show. <laughs> <laughs> What's your social media? Oh man, y'all can follow me right now at Inglewood IV. Two underscores after that, man. At Inglewood IV with two underscores after that. You feel me? Know yourself with three F's at the end. All right, y'all. The China White. The China White. And I know. No, stay tuned next week. We are going to have the one and only Teddy Mora of Power 106. So stay oh. tuned. It's about to be popping. Oh, da. I'm coming Yay. next week. Keep looking out for this video. Ooh. Yes.